Hello my friends, today's video, I will be practicing cartwheels and all the different cartwheel variations I know to share with you. So I'm visiting my parents today. I'm about two and a half hours north of Brisbane in my mum and dad's beautiful garden here. There's some lovely grass. So look at the bush, there's kangaroos over there. So I'm gonna do some cartwheels in the garden and maybe just show you around a little bit. Let's get into it. Let's kick it off with the basic cartwheel. This is the tricker cartwheel or the capoeira cartwheel. You'll note that I'm standing side on and I enter the cartwheel from the side and finish side on. So the whole thing is very lateral. One side will probably be better than the other as it is for me. Here's my daughter here showing me up. She's already better than me at the cartwheel. Look how snappy her little legs are. I wish mine looked like that. From there, it's onto the inside hand one arm cartwheel. So the hand closest to the ground or to that side you're entering will place down first. Here's my daughter doing it. Her little snappy legs make it easier for her. I tend to do a little pop to make it around. You'll see that little pop there. From here, the next level up from that is the outside hand one arm cartwheel. This is slightly harder than the earlier version. Again, I load up a little bit and add a little bounce or pop to make the rotation. The reason I up with a bit of a bounce is to advance onto the no-handed cartwheel or the aerial. These are quite hard for me. It's taken me quite some time to learn. Here you'll see my warm-up sets I still keep that hand touching initially and then I get lighter and lighter until I work up the courage to just take it away entirely. What really helps is to drive the inside arm back and up and around and also to keep the head low and just kick really hard with that top leg and pray for the best. <laughs> My mom is completely obsessed with plants. So every part of their property is covered in plants, which is beautiful. It keeps it quite cool actually. Beautiful plants everywhere. And there's just so much detail. Like you can just go up to any plant. And there's like just flowers everywhere. So it's really beautiful. The forward cartwheel. This one is a bit tricky. It's taken me a long time to learn also. I'm not a caparista, but this one comes from capoeira. Uh, it's called the Aldo Frenche, if my Portuguese is correct, which it probably isn't, um, but that's what it's called in capoeira. Um, it requires turning that foot and hips towards the front and exiting over front ways. And the goal is to try and step out of it uh, very hard for me still at this point, but super fun. This is one of my favorite plants here. It's called a medusa. I don't know the actual technical name, but it has these like crazy vines that look like the snakes coming out of medusa's hair. How cool is that? Check this one out. Here's another variety. This one has flowers on it. Look at this thing. Check out these flowers. <laughs> this opposite leg entry cartwheel, I'd seen online and I'd never tried it before, so I thought I would give it a go. The coordination required was tricky for me at first. Um, I didn't really get any super clean ones, but I did find there was a nice little jump up and a nice little kick into it, which felt really good on my better attempts. I didn't spend enough time on it to really polish it, but it was quite good just to challenge my own neurology and just do something different here. That little half twist feels quite good in the air. Ha 
just having a little rest in between sets. So something I like to play with in terms of learning concepts is making sure that within your practice, um, you're refining things you can already do and you're looking to perfect them, keep improving, refining, making them smoother and better. But then it's also important to have new things that you really suck at um, and it really just forces the brain and the body to create new connections. And I think the more you practice that, um, the better you get at learning in general. So um, today I'm playing with a few elements that I've never done before and they're super challenging for my mind and body. Um, and then I'm also playing with some things that I'm already uh, familiar with. So just a tip. Next, I did some head cartwheels. So from the low squat, I entered the cartwheel with my head down for support, taking most of the weight through my arms and shoulders, but I found this really nice. Again, I'd never done this before, but it had a really nice symmetry to it. And it felt like you could really slow this one down and just control it. Uh, when the legs were nice and straight, it felt really nice to just flow through the positions from side to side. Next, I tried this Cossack, almost lizard-like entry into my head cartwheel. So just adding to that head cartwheel, I found a new entrance into it, which was a Cossack step. And then the same step as I used for my lizard crawl and then popping up into my head cartwheel. This felt like a nice little combo. I think I'll add this into some flows when I do some longer sequences. Next, I had to play with this cartwheel into elbow lever or an elbow lever cartwheel. From the low squat, I rotate over and just before my hip makes contact with the elbow, I start to lower down and then recover the legs into the low squat. This one felt super nice, although looking back at the videos, I would have liked to have made my feet look less ugly. And I can see that there's some timing that I could really improve with the legs to make this look a lot nicer. Here's a little combo that I had to play with going from the elbow lever cartwheel into a monkey kick, which felt really cool. Then I played with the Reverseo, or the Havasa in Portuguese again. Forgive me for my Portuguese. This one belongs in the same family as the forward cartwheel or the Aldo Frenche. Um, it's a capoeira type skill, although the B-boys use it as well. Here I'm building up to the one-footed landing by starting with the two-footed landing. And then as I get more confident and I can start to feel the timing come in, I start to try and land on one foot and then pivot to recover. These are very hard for me and I need a lot of work to get them snappy and nice. Although I am enjoying this sort of b-boy entry setup, which feels really cool. The Schwiel. I haven't played with the Schwiel too much, but this one is so much fun. So from a lunging position, we go sideways laterally and try to land in the opposite 
lunging position. This one takes some figuring out, but when you get the timing right and you really float through that middle section, it feels incredible. The backwards cartwheel. I wasn't happy with my first few attempts, although I did manage to string a few together in succession, which felt really cool. But then I got the toes and legs a little bit more extended to make them look a bit more aesthetically pleasing like that one. The straighter the legs, the cooler these tend to look. Gumby. This one is hard for me because of my shoulder and back mobility. It really helps if you've got a nice high bridge to exaggerate the arch. For me, that is challenging. I am working on it. Uh, the setup tends to help. I'm working from a static setup today and then just trying to get my arms deeper and deeper to really get that arch. And there's a bit of coordination with this one. It's taken me a long time to try and figure out, but I just keep playing with it and over time it's getting better and better. And one day I hope to add it into other sequences where I can do flips off the back of it, which would be really, really cool. Next, I had to play with this hot cartwheel variation. I was feeling pretty cooked by this stage, so this one is a bit easier on the body. It's simply just a hop to the other side and a half pirouette or a half pivot back to the same direction as you started in. Lots of fun. This next one I've ever tried before, but again, I'd seen it on the internet and thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a try. It starts with a one-handed tuck sort of entry and then extending the legs into a handstand type position in the middle and then exiting with the tuck off the opposite hand on the other side. I'd never tried these before and they were very, very challenging. I found the timing very hard and looking back at the videos, I'm not sure they look too cool. So plenty to work on there, but I had a lot of fun just trying something new. <laughs> okay, that's it for my cartwheels. What do you think guys? Should I come and help do some gardening? Want some help gardening then? <laughs> what about you guys? What are you up to? Food. You, food? You want food? Okay, so kids are going to have some food, going to have a coffee, do some gardening, help Nan out a little bit. So, they're my cartwheels for the day. Some look better than others. Some are pretty ugly looking back at the videos, but hey, doesn't matter. They're my cartwheels. So if you don't like them, what are you? The cartwheel police? Hey, hey. Okay, see you in the next video. If you like this one, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.